Red Hawk Realty specializes in assisting the selling and buying of land for agricultural, residential, recreational, commercial, investment, and environmental mitigation purposes. Buying vacant land may seem like a daunting process, but it doesn't have to be. At Red Hawk Realty, our agents are knowledgeable and experienced in offering information and guidance in the purchase of vacant land and navigating the associated steps. We also offer a wealth of expertise and referrals to the right professionals, loan specialists, and offer guidance to necessary resources within the county. Buying vacant land is a different universe when compared to buying a residential home in the city. Red Hawk Realty is the preeminent land specialist when it comes to California country properties. We're at the Vulcan Mountain Trailhead. This is about three miles north of Julian. The uh, trail goes up from here about uh, five and a half miles round trip. Fairly steep trail. We're at 4,100 feet. We're going up to just over a mile high. This is a wonderful area to come up and see uh, and hike for a day. Much of California, much of San Diego trails are impacted with heavy use, but that's not the case up here. We're far enough away from the city center and the populations that you can come up and uh, enjoy a quiet day on a trail. The Vulcan Mountain Wilderness Preserve is just about 3,900 acres. It's less than 10% of the full range. Vulcan Mountain range extends from Julian up to Warner Springs. It's about 13 miles long and seven and a half miles wide. About 52,000 acres. When you get up to the ridge line, look to the east and the west, you're gonna see on a clear day as far as San Clemente Island out in the Pacific Ocean and past Salton Sea towards Arizona. To the west, three watersheds flow into San Diego County. We have the San Diego watershed flowing out to Ocean Beach, the San Diego watershed to Del Mar, and to the north, the San Felipe Creek starts on Vulcan Mountain and flows to the north. Be prepared for a difficult hike. This is not a long hike, but it is quite steep. So bring plenty of water and be familiar with all of your equipment. What an absolute treat to be on the ridge lines you see from your car and to be here with other people and to learn more about the plants and animals and the work of the foundation.
grow the grapes. We are, are here, right here at the tasting room, and um, as well as being out in, you know, meeting people. And so we just, in Ramona, there's more than, there's, no, I think uh, up to date, there's about 35. Wineries. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize so many. Yeah, it's been over the last 10 years or so we've watched it grow. That's right, that's yeah. right. So if you have a um, you know agriculturally zoned property, then you can go ahead and plant grapes. You can uh, make wine um, just for your own personal use for up to 200 gallons without a permit. Mm. So even if you just like wine wow. and you want to be a hobbyist. Turtle Rock Ridge Vineyard Winery, and it was named Turtle Rock after our um, granite monolith that we have up here on the hillside, overlooking our tasting terrace. And um, it is uh, there is the tortoise's head that you can see, and then her two front legs, and her shell comes off the back, and then there's her back leg and her little tail that you can kind of see. And so, slow and steady is our uh, you know slogan. And so you know you get uh, you need patience to make wine <laughs> because it takes time. So the name Grant James, so Grant's my son and James is my dad. So in gratitude and appreciation to those two for all they did. All right, so we've got a vineyard here, uh, more vineyards in the back. I also manage two vineyards. The significance is that, that I can be counted into my estate totals. Um, and then I also source. So we make everything up in the happy barn, because that's where the happy juice is made. Um, we're doing 32 tons, 5,000 cases, microscopic in the wine world, but huge for us. So we're bottling about a thousand cases every, so right now every 12 weeks, and we're going through oceans of wine. Here, we're gonna like this one, yeah, it is tasty. Oh, okay, well we'll give you another bottle. So fruity, do you smell just? Yeah, I'm getting cute. Yeah, very fruit forward. our most popular red and this is called our little peach it's a 2013 it's a Bordeaux style blend it has a mix of Cab Sauv, Cab Franc, Petite Syrah and Merlot and it has a very fruit forward aromas to it as well as hints of eucalyptus and the reason why it has the eucalyptus hints is because our Cab Franc is grown directly underneath eucalyptus trees. Oh, wow. So oh, when you wow. smell that, you'll probably get a little hint of that in there. Um, this is a great red blend for just drinking on its own or for having with barbecue ribs or a great steak dinner. Mm -hmm. 